welcome to trinod chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about the intermediate second year chemistry topic general principles of metallurgy this is one of the important topic in intermediate second year chemistry in this topic this is my third video in my first two videos i have discussed about the leaching method and general terminology basic terminology in general principles of metallurgy in this video i am going to discuss about the electrolytic refining of metals that is how to purify the metals by means of electrolytic refining method please like the video share and subscribe the channel we know that any metallurgical process any metallurgical process that is extraction of metals extraction of metals from their ores from their ores involves three steps one is concentration of the ore concentration of the ore that is dressing of the ore second one is conversion of ore to metal ore to metal that is by means of reduction or by any other some means then third one is refining of metals refining of metals so this is nothing but refining means purification of the metal purification of the metal so any metallurgical process involves these three steps one is conversion of the ore second one is conver uh, sorry concentration of the ore second one is conversion of ore to metal and third one is refining of purification of the metal in this video i am going to discuss about the in third step during the refining of the metals during the refining of the metals which methods we be used we have what are the various methods available and in that in those methods i am going to discuss about uh, electrolytic refining of metals electrolytic refining of uh, metals we know that the metal extracted by various methods is usually contaminated with impurities usually contaminated with impurities so getting of metals of high purity high pure to get to get the metals of high purity various techniques are available and uh, those techniques are used depending upon the conditions means based on the proper based on the properties of the metals and the impurities the various methods are one is distillation second one is pulling third one is zone refining zone refining and fourth one is uh, electrolytic refining and the fifth one is vapor phase refining and sixth one is liquidation various methods are available for purifying the for refining of the metals but in this video i am going to discuss about uh, electrolytic refining electrolytic refining so in this electrolytic refining electrolytic refining in this electrolytic refining the metal that impure metal which is needed to be impure metal which is needed to be purified which is needed to be purified is made it into an electrode and this electrode acts as anode in this electrolytic method the impure metal impure metal is made it into a may converted into an electrode that is means of electrode uh, rod metal rod and uh, it acts as an anode it's act as a anode and uh, a strip of a strip of the same metal in pure form 
same metal in pure form is used as the cathode. A strip of metal in the pure form is used as the cathode. That is, for example, if you want to refine, if you want to purify impure copper, that impure copper metal is made at a made it into a rod and it acts as a anode. It acts as a anode. The same pure copper rod, a strip of copper, pure copper rod is acts as the cathode. Pure yeah, acts as the cathode. And uh, these anode and cathode. Here anode is a impure metal, impure metal electrode, impure metal electrode, and uh, this is a pure metal strip which acts as a cathode. Pure metal strip which acts as a um, which, act, which acts as a cathode. And uh, these anode and cathode are these anode and cathode are kept in a anode and cathode. Anode and cathode are kept in a sortable electrolyte. Kept in a sortable electrolyte. The anode and cathode are kept in a sortable electrolyte containing soluble salt of the containing soluble salt of the same metal. Soluble salt of the same metal. So this here there are two electrodes in electrolytic refining method. There are two electrodes. One is impure metal which acts as the anode. That is impure metal means the metal which is needed to be purified is made it into electrode and acts as the anode. A strip of metal, a strip of the same metal. For example, if you want to refine copper, we have to take a pure form of copper. If you want to purify zinc, we have to take a pure form of zinc that acts as the cathode. And these anode and cathode are, these anode and cathode are kept in a sortable electrolyte. Sortable, sortable electrolyte containing soluble salt of the same metal. Soluble salt of the same metal. For example, uh, if you want to purify the copper, impure copper rod is taken as the anode and a pure copper strip is taken as the cathode. And uh, these two should be kept in a electrolyte of the, uh, means uh, so soluble salt solution of the copper. Where, for example, copper cupric chloride or copper sulfate or any other copper salt, soluble salt of the copper. Soluble salt of the copper. So during the during the uh, electrolysis, during the electrolysis, when electricity is passed through these electrodes, the reactions occurring at anode down. anode decomposes and forms as an electrons. And these ions initially goes into the solution, goes into the solution, anode decomposes as a Mn plus plus n electrons. And these Mn plus ions goes to the cathode and deposit as a Mn plus plus n electrons gives rise to M. Right? Here M is the pure metal. M is the pure metal. So the required metal in this electrolytic refining method, the required metal gets deposited on the cathode. Gets deposited on the cathode. So it goes from the anode first goes into the solution and from solution again to back to cathode. Again back to cathode. So initially the anode content decomposes during the electrolysis to and forms Mn plus ions and goes into the solution. These Mn plus ions further goes to the cathode and deposit as a metal. Deposit as a metal. Here the required metal, whatever metal we need to refine, that that goes gets deposited on the cathode in the pure form. Cathode in the pure form. The metal containing the constituting the impurities, whatever impurities are present, impurities are present, goes as the anode mud. Anode mud. Anode mud goes as the anode mud. And that is the impurities remains with the remains with the anode. Remains with the anode. So in electrolytic refining method. In electrolytic refining metal, the impure metal, the impure metal that is which is needed to be purified, which is needed to be purified, is 
taken as anode the strip of the pure metal pure same metal pure same metal is taken as the is taken as the cathode and these two are kept in a suitable electrolyte of the soluble salt of the same metal soluble salt of the same metal when electrolysis when electricity is passed through these electrodes what happens initially at anode metal ions are metal is decomposes as it converted into metal ions and goes into the solution and these ions again further goes to the cathode and deposit as a metal they will get high pure metals by means of this electrolytic refining method so generally copper is refined by using this electrolytic refining method copper is copper is or uh, refined using this electrolytic method so in this method in a, in this electrolytic electrolytic refining method anodes are impure copper rod anode anode is impure copper rod and anode is impure copper rod and cathode is pure copper strips pure copper strips pure copper strips and uh, here the electrolyte is pure copper strip is taken as the electrolyte and uh, the electrolyte is acidified solution of the copper sulfate electrolyte is the acidified solution of copper sulfate acidified solution of the copper sulfate so what was the what happens during the uh, electrolysis what happened at anode copper deposit as the sub decomposes as the copper 2 plus plus ions and these ions first initially goes to the electrolyte and further they move the ions moves to the cathode and deposit as a pure copper pure copper so this uh, this is the method electrolytic refining method so impurities from the blister copper impurities from the blister copper deposit as anode mud which contains antimony selenium tellurium silver gold and platinum gold and platinum so that whatever impurities are present in the metal they remain in the anode mud they remain in the anode mud only metals will initially goes into the solution as metal ions and they further may attracted by the cathode and deposit as the pure metal so this is regarding electrolytic refining electrolytic refining so this is important for in a ip intermediate or public examination point of view you have write about electrolytic refining write write about electrolytic refining so in electrolytic refining what is the principle here the impure metal is taken as the anode impure metal is taken a metal rod is taken as the anode a pure metal in the form of strip is taken as the cathode and these two are kept in a these two are kept in a suitable electrolyte of the same metal suitable electrolyte of the same metal and then when electricity is passed the reaction occurring at anode is anode oxidizes to metal is oxidizes to metal ions and these metal ions goes into the solution and these ions again further moves to the cathode and deposit as a pure metal so this is regarding electrolytic refining thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like share and subscribe the channel